Body yaddy 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 yaddy. This should actually be phrased as even when things aren't going your way, because one thing about things, they won't go your way. Pretty young girl from Zambia, you know that she ain't with the drama. Light skin girl Osama, you know she the bomb, she cause trauma. Hey guys, welcome back to welcome to my channel. Hi, my name is Yamba and I create YouTube content which you should subscribe to. Okay, so in this video, we're gonna watch me go from basic to baddie. You're gonna see me look crusty, then you're gonna see how I achieve this look. Thank you to World Dune Hair for sponsoring this video. And yeah, don't forget to thumbs up, share it with somebody, and of course subscribe. Let's just get right into it. I know I look like a site right now but this is the reality of the situation this is before all the glam so obviously i unbraided my hair i detangled it washed it all of that so right now it is actually very clean and nice and yeah it's just so refreshing to have a clean scalp after so long it's been over a month i think like five to six weeks i'm not sure since i had my braids in but they came through they looked good they served their purpose now it's time to go back to being slay queens with the wig life also shout out to musha for letting me use her camera because i literally forgot mine all right so the wig we are working with today is from the company world new hair i've actually worked with them before on the headband wig that i have and i've literally abused that wig so we're back for round two might abuse this one as well who knows inside we have lashes as per usual a set of wig caps a little discount code thingy and these tattoo baby hairs these look funny when they're like this but tell me why they actually work like i've seen people try them on tiktok and they actually work i just don't have the energy for them pretty much <laughs> and also it came with this headband thingy that you use to like lay the wig when you're gluing it down i was so close to buying one off amazon but it wasn't going to be delivered on time so i'm so glad they now add this oh that's so nice I'm excited now. I'm excited. <laughs> and then obviously the star of the show, which is the wig. Period. <laughs> I'm so excited. Oh my gosh, Chaz, she is luscious. She is cute. Oh my days. Period. Okay, so this is their body wave in the natural color. So you can tell it's like, it's not brown, it's not black. It's just it's like a deep brown, which they call natural. And obviously if you want to dye it black, you can or you could just get it in 1B. Why not? In 22 inches and 180% density, which just means that she thick, okay? It has a pre-plucked hairline, which of course you can go in and pluck some more and there are already baby hairs on here. The lace isn't tinted, but I won't be doing that today just because I really don't have the time or the patience. But yeah, the inside has an elastic band to obviously secure it to fit your head and the, what you call this the the comb <laughs> and obviously there's these usual elastic bands that come in wigs i usually crisscross these to fit my head just so it's like pretty snug or i'll put one closer to the other just so it's not too suffocating on my head because sometimes you don't feel like you're breathing i'm not the greatest at installing wigs and this would have been nice if i had the time to like pluck it some more and stuff i'll customize it more later on in life but today i'll just put it on as it is and everything and we'll see what we end up with so yeah enjoy i started by putting the wig cap on and making sure it fit comfortably I then put the wig on to start figuring out its proper placement. I'm starting to think. Using my finger as a guide, I went ahead and marked the lace with eyebrow pencil to know where to cut the wig in order for it to fit around my ears properly. I ended up taking the wig off to finish off the cutting but this is what it looked like when I was done. I then used the Got To Be spray and this other olive oil one. It was the first time I was using it and it's safe to say I like the Got To Be more. Yeah. 
I pressed down firmly and added the satin wrap, satin, silk, whatever you get the vibe, then waited for a few minutes before taking it off. A few moments later. Here, I was just cutting the lace off, then I sprayed more glue on the bits that lifted in the process and set them again. Last, last. Now everybody go to your breakfast. I'm not going to feel it taking this out to rubbish. Don't cry. Oh my gosh, I need to do this off camera. I actually cannot. 346 minutes later. Um, chat, anyway, so this is the best we could do. I don't know how she looking in real life. She looking all right. I don't know about on camera, but we got her down, okay? That's what matters. She's just looking thick on the hairline because I didn't pluck her some more, but it's okay over here she lifting a little bit but i'm wearing a hat on top of this later so i'm not too fussed <laughs> so now we're gonna get to styling which is my favorite part because the installation actually just stresses me out like <laughs> i'm not a pro at this if you guys could see my surrounding right now you'd be like what was going on but anyway i'm now gonna use this soft and free everyday curl refresh it's for natural hair but it'll do and then of course we're gonna go in with some mousse it would have been good if i had my hot comb with me but I don't we're just gonna work with what we have that's a lot I'm spraying it into my hand instead and I'm not trying to weigh down the hair she luscious y'all she luscious I'm now just gonna brush it out Body crazy. <laughs> now we go in with some mousse. Just a little bit. I'm not trying to make it crunchy. Smooth out the top and then bring that down. Should give him body yaddy yaddy yaddy. I think I like the part, like it's not really a part. I would need to pluck it to make a proper part, but we can do a little something, something. Period poo, period poo. <laughs> Okay, let me just fix it a little bit more off camera, then I will be back. Okay, so this is what it looks like. It's pretty cute. Am I embarrassing the girls with this install? Probably, but it's pretty okay it could be worse like it literally could be worse now moving on to my face we're gonna chat while i do my makeup just so i don't know i always just do montages of me doing my makeup but it's not like a tutorial or anything we're just gonna you know chat i asked you guys to ask me some questions that i can answer during this and yeah okay so before i start i'm gonna be using this primer it's one I got today from Superdrug. I've never tried it, but I've been needing a new primer so bad. I went in there for the new e.l.f. one. That's like really dewy or whatever, but they didn't have it. So I went for this one, which is a mattifying primer. I'm like part of the oily, girly gang. So yeah. Get a little bit for starters. Ooh, she thick. That feels pretty nice. 
Also, I have this giant zit that just came up like yesterday. I'm like, are you serious? I haven't even been wearing makeup or anything. <laughs> so I'm like, the one time I actually want to put makeup on, he decide to show up. Question number one, who is Nyamba? That's a really good question because I legit never know how to answer it. But I will say that Nyemba is this, I don't know, caring, fun, loving, um, free-spirited girl. Yeah, female. She's not a girl anymore, she's a woman, period. But yeah, I feel like I embody those characteristics. When I think of who am I, those things come to mind. I'm quite the free spirit. I like to do what I like to do. Um, yeah, without going on and on, I feel like that's who Nyamba is in a nutshell. And obviously you guys know kind of like me slash my personality through my videos because I don't hide who I am on camera. Like if I'm gonna cry about something, I'm gonna to cry about it. I don't hold anything back pretty much so yeah. I'm just going in with my L'Oreal True Match now which is like my favorite foundation right now. I've been using it for a while and it's just it's great. <laughs> Someone asked do you know if you're going to continue YouTube after you have kids and the answer is yes. I honestly don't see myself not being on YouTube for like a really really long time. There's so many people, well I say so many but like I can probably count them but there's a number of people I've been following for so long especially like couples. For example Aspen and Parker. I followed them when they were dating. I watched them get engaged, get married, have their first kid, have their second kid. So I feel like that's just so cool to watch and I feel like that's the journey I'm kind of gonna be on as well. I mean, God willingly, I have kids in the next five-ish years. Then yeah, you guys definitely will see them. Like, Okay, I'm not too sure if the lighting is still the same, but we've charged up a little bit. Let us continue. Okay, I just did my brows off camera. <laughs> what advice would you give financially when it comes to saving? You look like you're great at it. Thank you very much. <laughs> I actually do quite believe I'm good at both spending and saving money. The one rule I go by with saving is the one from the book The Richest Man in Babylon, which is to pay yourself first so any amount of money I get into my bank account any money I earn I save 10% of it that's paying myself first no matter how much like it could be I don't know like 10 pounds for example enters my bank account I will save the one pound and put it in my savings account like I'm so strict with myself on saving at least 10% Obviously, sometimes I'm in the position to save a little bit more than 10%, but I always stick to the 10% rule and it actually adds up over time. So that's like the one thing I would say. And also just budgeting, like track your spending. I'm not saying budget to a T, but check your statements, see how much you're spending on certain things, decide where you want to cut things, like cut down on things, sorry. But keep in mind, pay yourself first and the minimum amount you should pay yourself first is 10%. I'm not concealing my face because I just don't feel like it. Today is not one of those days. <laughs> Let's do some light eyeshadow. We're gonna use my contour thingy. We're gonna use my bronzer as eyeshadow today while we answer the next question which is any tips on how to make friends at uni honestly i don't have any tips because i left my course with one solid friend like <laughs> I'm such an introvert. Oh my gosh, like it's actually insane. But I would say just be yourself and the right people will come your way. And if you're not as introverted as I am, definitely attend like social activities. That way you'll be able to make friends. But yeah, the friends I made while I was in foundation, we all attended the same college, which was Kaplan. And we lived in the same halls, like in the same building on campus, just like a floor or two apart 
apart. So we would walk to class together, be in class together. And others, it was just like, we weren't in the same classes, but they lived in the building and we had mutuals and we got to mingle like that. But like my actual course, like I said, I left with one friend and I'm not mad at it. Yeah, just be yourself, I guess. The right people come your way. Okay, this one is, what has helped you be more positive even if things aren't going your way? This should actually be phrased as even when things aren't going your way because one thing about things they won't go your way <laughs> for me listening to affirmations and meditating and praying has helped a lot especially over the past few months but i'd say like meditating and all that even just now i still start my mornings off well, I try to start my mornings off listening to positive things. So like I'll listen to affirmations or gospel music or something to just, you know, motivate me and make me feel better. Generally, not even just like better about my situation, but just raise my vibration, basically. Have you ever thought of visiting Namibia? Yes, actually. Big yes, because one of my closest friends when I was in uni, well, at the beginning, like, I want to say freshman year. No, not freshman year. When I was doing my foundation slash, like, first slash second year, you guys who are OGs know her, Alvin Hope. <laughs> um, she's from Namibia, so at the time when we were like super duper close, I did really like heavily consider going to Namibia. But even before I knew her, I had always wanted to visit the coast, like Walvis Bay and stuff. So yeah, one day I definitely will visit. What words would you tell to your younger self? I would tell her that she will succeed. She doesn't need to freak out too much. I would also tell her that life is hard, but God stays good. And yeah, like it does get better because I'm thinking of me at like 16, 17, 18-ish. I feel like that's when I went through a bunch of stuff in terms of like mental health and blah 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 but yeah i'll just say it gets better like you're gonna achieve what you want to achieve period okay so i just did my lips off camera and added that highlight it is shapapping if i do say so myself her okay so let me finish the rest of the questions i'm kind of rushing because date night is in a few minutes and i already i'm the one who's late today so <laughs> how do you trust in a long distance relationship honestly it's one of those things that's i feel like i'm dark there's no blueprint to being able to trust in such things you can only hope and pray that your partner isn't betraying you. I like to think trust is something that's built over time. You see someone's characteristics, how they act in certain situations, and you learn how to trust them that way. So literally, you can only hope they're not making you look dumb. That's what I can say otherwise. You're never 100% sure, and that's the truth. But at least you can be like, you can sleep peacefully at night, you know? And I find myself sometimes obviously just overthinking certain things, but it's like, if you don't trust your person, you're gonna overthink yourself to death. Like, you're just gonna be overthinking and be in a bad mood all the time because you always think they're doing something. Otherwise, there's no blueprint, but know your person, I guess, and just hope that they're, you know, respecting you as much as you're respecting them. That's if you are respecting them, you know, it goes both ways. And the final question is, are we gonna see videos with MCM soon? The simple answer to that is no. <laughs> and that's because number one, we live on different continents as at now. Number two, he doesn't like the camera. Number three, I'm just not really trying to post him on my channel, even though he has featured before, but it was just like a cameo. <laughs> so yeah, those are pretty much the reasons why you won't see him, but like I'm not obliged or obligated to post him if he doesn't want to or to force him 
him to be in a vlog if he doesn't want to and stuff. I'm not really pressed about having a public relationship anymore because obviously I'm not with someone who's like a public figure already or like known or whatever. So it's not really inevitable, I want to say, that you're going to see him. So yeah, that is it. Who knows, maybe next year. But I don't see us doing like sit down videos or anything anytime soon. Maybe if I have a ring on my finger, who knows? But yeah, <laughs> they'll come when they come. So yeah, before this camera dies on me again, thank you so much for watching. My hair details will be in the description box below. Like I said, I'm a beginner at this, but I think I did pretty all right, okay? <laughs> Don't forget to thumbs this up, share it with somebody, and of course, subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Otherwise, you guys, this is the best makeup bag ever because I just throw my shit in here and tie it up. <laughs> the end.